jumping in here. Glaive actually going for armor, not the utility. So uh, maybe that in-game leader conversation might be an interesting one to have in our post-game interview if Astralis get the win on the board. But we will see a smoke for Device and Magus. A couple of flashbangs and a Molotov in play. It's towards Yard and down pop we go. We're getting stuck on in. Yeah, early smokes are going to really divide this site up, make those Glocks a lot less intimidated by the USP. Look at these close fights now. They're all perfect for the Glock. He just has to connect. He doesn't. Dupree veers away. Glaive has drawn first blood in his debut back in the Astralis starting. Rosto, wow, quick from Dupree. Mo's down two, looking good for a third. He does. Swaps up to the USP and knocks Oboe's socks off. That's four in total. And that's quite a way to announce their arrival into the server. Astralis quad kill on Dupree and a pistol round victory. Forcing in. Double scouts. It's training. It makes a lot of sense. You're going to be seeing out. the Three. scouts out for Ooh. complexity. Okay. Three scouts out. Grenades. Mm. I love it. he's got the Vogue Glock as well. It's quite a pretty Glock. And the USP up and over to finish things off. As it's an explosive start for Astralis here. Now, just to note why we were getting excited about these scouts on a map like Train. If they tag you up, they can be doing a big chunk of damage and those deagles can finish off. There's a couple of nades in play as well. Oh, up over the railing. Mm. Upski will be throwing the Molotov. Compy's going to get some hot toes here. Okay. Well, the hot oh, toes oh, were oh. worth it. He can work on coals. Rush under pressure, though. He's not going to get the same sort of freedom Config did. And probably a good reason as to why. Maybe you don't fancy that being doubled down. And let's see what Glaive's intuition is telling him. He's in the brown hole. He's just going to keep an eye on it, whether he gets the space. Oh, my God. They're just falling. I thought they'd be taking their time with this one. Yeah, Glaive's likely going to call B clear here. And so Dupree's AK and Glaive's, it's certainly tall task. But will the old veterans, the old partnership, Glaive and Dupree, with utility, weapons, the whole shebang to go 2v5. I've got a feeling, Lauren, they're going to get close. They get that plant down, it could be game on. Molly to slow it down. Glaive posted up. Deep smoke to deny. At least one line of entry for a moment's time. Config around the back. Dupree leans forward. Poison there. Tag comes in. Finisher from Rush. The one-two punch. And now Glaive. A little bit of pressure to start with. Let's put the boy through his paces. He's been there before. He's been there again. Down he goes. Oboe to close it. Beautifully nice. done by Carl. Four alive for them too. Yeah, I mean, they had no kit. And they were retaking against Smokes, Molotovs, and AK-47s with armor. It was... By far, far from a guarantee, but the shot from Rush is really the one that saved them there. Dupree, had he got the multi-kill, things could have really spiraled out of control. So we'll see how that looks from Convict's POV. Just a great start as well. Let's not forget standing his ground. That was the IV tear down from Poison with a re-peak. And these were the frags I was talking over. But Rush is fragged there onto Dupree. Had it not been a headshot, he even could have had nasty ramifications. Still, complexity. Very happy with that one. Rush is going to be... Smiling ear to ear. Round two of our first map. Second game of our third day. Let's see. Well, Charles won't be bouncing back with the Force by, so already very different from our first series here today as Dupree goes down quickly. Rush with another opening frag, and now into Ogo they go. Oh, easy as you like. Easy as you like. Yeah, I mean, you could see the intentions, like hope that they could make it look like they were going for a fast plant inner, and then Ivy walks out and... Tries to do something with that bomb. Quite the opposite. Great quick kills from Oboe just to get that uh, ball rolling in the right direction. Puts him on six. So no Molotovs for crowd control here on the Astralis side of things and limited flashes. Interesting to note if they want to go for something slow and level the playing field by waiting out that early CT utility or if they want to continue with their fast approach like the pistol round. So taking a quick look at the radar, it does look like we will just be seeing the default spread. That is three grenades early towards T-Main. An aggressive Molotov to stop the Ivy push. And yeah, this is just the classic default spread. Two Ivy, one main, two box holes. You don't get more default than this. Charles have thrown nothing, while Complexity have used more than half of their utility so far, and we have a minute 15 left on the clock. So a lot of this will come down to these heads-up jewels. Config is in a very important position if they do decide they want to go down Pop Dog at any point. The misdirection over towards Ivy, but Complexity is still more than happy to play two players lent towards the inner bomb site. They were in a retake formation, but now they've 
Actually postured forward. Obo getting up close and personal. Very, very slow round here. Still hardly anything thrown on the Astralis side of things. Configs Molotov. Not going to give him the sound cue he was hoping for. No burnt toes just yet. Rush. Fantastic angle to keep Ivy under wraps. And now into inner. Obo, poison, in a position to do damage. The, time, the timing was rough for Poison there. He just fell away as the two came through on the other side. Stunning work from Glaive. The tip of the spear heading forward, spots out Convict's leg. Dupree showing enough that I think is warded at least away enough threat for now. Wow, that uh, is a round where I thought maybe Complexity would want to hang around and see if they could get an aggressive player. Device would have been one whose head they could have tried to lop on off and see if they could go for that in a retake, but they want to hold on to what they have. This will be a long first half if that's the style and play that Astralis want to come with. It feels like in recent times, the very, very slow CS that we were talking about a lot within the tail end of last season before the player break trickled away. But now Astralis are back in the server. Now the Glaive's back in the server. Maybe we go back to the percentage plays. There might be a shift again. As you can see, that beautiful Anubis AK right there. Look at it. Rush is just wielding it. It's in the most recent crate. It, oh. it is nice. Oh, look at it. Reminds me of the mummy, though. And I yeah, love that. That's a, they, that is a, a oh, what's his name? Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Yeah, yeah. Looks like OJ Borge. To be fair, what's slightly depressing is you know you remember that face filter where it changed you to look like a dude or a lady? Yeah. I just kind of looked like a very sad version of him. Well, what sad that? version of Brendan Fraser? Yeah. Wow. I'll I'll find you the picture. I need it's, it. It's very weird. You but in my life. I share it with the internet. Like dad. Yeah, we'll do. I'll wow. do. Fantastic I, news. It's nice seeing Astralis' name in the server. If I'm honest, I missed seeing it at Cologne. So. I, I'm, I'm honestly chomping a bit to see this round. We didn't cast a single Astralis game mm -hmm. over there in Cologne. That was a little bit unfortunate. Similar start. Just the same default spread. Almost a mirror image of the previous round, round number four. Yeah, if ever you've got teammates asking what a default is or what you're expecting from them, feel free to show them the first couple of rounds of Astralis' T side here. Every CT aggress covered. No one getting any information that's unchecked. Config is getting a lot of steps and they jump down with the nade. That is an execution. Glaive rockets his way down the ladder straight into the first frag of the round. That's a little earlier than before. And we'll see what the reaction is. Here you go. Wow, it's color by numbers. It really is. Regroup after you get the numbers advantage. Here we are. Throw out your util, isolate some jewels with your smokes, a flash to force them off. This is textbook, and it seems that Complexity want to throw that textbook out the window. They're regrouping and gambling to B. Now, I don't know whether it will be a save or a fast flank once this execute comes in. Let's see if Poison gets there in time to respond. He'll hear the util now. Yeah, they're going to let them full execute. They're going to let them do what they do. Poison has to be so careful. Ooh, a chance, but he loses a lot of health in the process. Good peek on the green train to suppress. And now, complexity, they've been given very few options that look fun. I hate all of their options they have here. Oh, Blair, is this another one? Yeah, saving you're for going 40 full game time. You're going to have to. You're going to have to because if you take a gamble stack like that, if you try and outread your opponent and yeah. it turns out you had it upside down, back to front, you uh, turned out you don't actually speak English or read English or the Astralis book. I guess it would be Danish, wouldn't it? Or if we looked at the meme, it just said Rush B on it, on the video of them announcing him coming back. And that translates globally. But they haven't done that, so I think they tried. They, they, that's that's what confused that's complexity. complexity. Yeah, ah. they've been doing the prep. They've been on Twitter. They've seen the video. Tried videos. the counter strat, and it didn't work. <gasps> yeah, uh, Flames like slinging the screenshot on the Discord. Like, guys, I've cracked, cracked it. it. <laughs> there it is. Keita's there going, you know, but guys, they said they said they were going to Rush B. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we might need some fire out of complexity because, look, if the default spread comes in again from Astralis and they are playing that contained, they need to get in the face and find a frag. Here's some testament, Chad. Three players of Astralis have not got a frag yet. And, they and they've rounds. got three rounds. That is, the, that is a perfect summary of the saving and the strategy paying off so far. Three players yet to frag. Yet to frag. I'm just going to say that one last time real slow. Okay, well, complexity saving four in the previous round. It does mean they've got everything they need to try and overcome this Astralis T side. Same start as before. Little exception. 
Magisk was a little late to the party. We're going to see a flash into pop for config. And they regain control of that part of the map, but that's the sound cue they need to start preparing their own. Bubsky progressing up the brown holes and so far not spotted. This would be wild if they just honestly come in and go, all right, guys, we're just going to do our defaults. Every uh, round. Every round for the entire T half. Ahead of the smoke this time, perhaps. Ooh. Off angle like that, blame. We'd have a guaranteed frag. It's unlikely Magisk is going to do anything without some cohesion behind it. Same vibe. In as a hit. Obo to be tested. And Poison responsible for that upper peak. So it will come down to the utility if they can force one of the star orpers of complexity off of his roost. So they want to use Ivy aggression first to get the CTs perhaps in transition, right? When Glaive throws the smoke, starts making noise, especially fragging, Obo and Poison can start relocating. Here we are. Nice catch from Blame. Magic still a threat. Make sure everyone knows that. And now they start to hit the inner side. Obo passes the first test. Device yet to frag. Seven seconds. No bomb. No chance. And this is just a consolation prize at this point. Complexity, weather the storm and connect onto their third. So perhaps now, Chad, we will get to see a, a different look out of the uh, the T call off the gate, or will it be our casual 2-1-2 spread and wait? Well, Device has an AWP now, so maybe something to set him up for a pick within the early stages here. But if you are Glaive and you are Zonic and you're seeing how that round unfolded, you realize that there wasn't an over-rotation, that Complexity are more than happy this time round to sit and wait for you to make the move. So they will be able to now change up the pace, maybe go for an inner hit when things are quite silent because they're setting a tempo right now that we could be anywhere on the map. You cannot push us, you cannot aggress us, and we can attack anywhere at any time. The info plays from Complexity was just one simple flash over towards Ivy, but here we go again. Cool device, forced him away for a second, the double dip, rush never moved. First time we've seen the CT aggression actually pay off and be not necessarily allowed, but at least find some sort of uh, result. There we are. This is textbook. Lovely from the CTs. Every fight they're given, they've bribed within double molly. Okay. Completely nullified. $1,200 just evaporates in an instant from the smoke. Now then. Smoke of his own design. And he's probably going to back that up. Trying to exploit the weakness. Trying to exploit the gap. Waits out the spray. And peeks off the flash. Isolating Oboe. Short term. Molotov will... Force poison back. The bomb does go down. This is going to be another two versus five. It's near impossible. Obo does go down, though, and a double kill from Magisk puts us back into the realms of possibility. Yeah, Glaive going to be posted towards ramp. He needs this. Oh, the flash is sublime from Rush. Completely blind as Magisk now has to go big or it's game over for this round, at least. He's buying time, but he's run out of it. Blame F is there. Well played in the end. Blame if we'll get the orb. Everything's all hunky-dory. That was good stuff. I can smell our dinner, guys. I'm really hungry, and it's been upsetting. It did feel like lunch was a while ago, didn't it? Oh, it um, smells good. Oh. Mm-mm. Okay. Ich hab Hunger im Deutsch. What is, what, what is it? What I is have it? hunger. Oh, I thought that we, there's a menu in there this week. They don't so. say I am. They say I have. Oh, uh, you've got the hunger again. I have hunger, and I have 27 years. Strange. Isn't it? Four to two, or rather four to three. This is going to be, what is that, two in a row now? Yep, with the defuse coming in. And only one on the goose egg now for Astralis, despite his contributions. He's still managed averaging 40 average damage per round, by the way, over the course of seven rounds. <laughs> Zero frags. Ouch, that's going to leave a mark. Bubsky brought down low. Poison sends two, go. three, six feet lower. Device out orping Poison. With only the Desert Eagle, that's something to write home about. Obo flashed off. He's going to have to put some bullets down range, but he's been tagged up. And, ooh, quick execution on Tobubski. We have got some real aimers in the server. But the bomb's down, and rotate from Blame and Rush is a long and arduous one. Yeah, good luck keeping up with some of these shots coming out, Rush. I see the snap after they're dead, and I don't even blame you. Half of these are so quick. And these two kind of, I, I guess, kind of understanding this is uh, not the scenario to play back in. Look at Rush's M4. I want to see this. It's like marbly. Isn't it like the Winter Hunter or something? I can't remember what it's called. I like that Lauren, you're good with the skin names. I don't know if it's right, but... I don't, I don't I swear it's something... It does look like, like it's that. kind of autumnal, wintry... Oh, it is, it's garbage. Actually. Green, do you don't... know what that skin it's very is? very old. Do, do, do. I think. Oh, uh, Stop changing... Ah, oh, damn. That's the one fault is this, is when the players are faffing with their weapons. We 
I don't get to see anything. The fun is disallowed. I'm on it. I'm gonna find out the name of it. All right, so Australis scavenged that AWP. Device will pick that up. He went into that round with only a Deagle due to, uh, well, not having enough funds, simply put. Modern Hunter. Damn it. Yeah, we're close. Close enough. Look at this. Dush. See you, mate. Must feel nice, doesn't it? Mm -mm. See you, mate. Yeah, okay. $700 taking down 7000 Oh, I'm mm. stuck only with the Deagle going into this one right here. So let's see if Complexity can do their best Astralis role play from the previous. Four M4s, no AWP for poison. That could be a bit of a problem here. Different look. Dave steps out. Ooh, and the timing, unfavorable for now. He'll be deploying initial utility. Oh, that nade looks destined for greatness from Blame. You see. Oh, both of them. Damage down. They were waiting for Device's first pick. Blame refusing to quit. Smoked off. Nade won't do too much. Ramp standoff looks a little hilarious oh, when you throw on the mini map, drag. but exactly. The hilarity stops in the fact that Bubsky's opened up B, and that's going to cause a great deal of paranoia. They have no other information, and suddenly the T side has a great deal of control, but the man who wants to take it all away is going to be Config. Up amongst them, swings in Glaive, barely alive. <sighs> Config's pre-fire, he was right to do so, but now do pre-court on the walkout main. This, this game, it's already feeling so different to the Fnatic mm. Spirit game, right? Like we've had two series so far and both of them have had unique um, gameplay. Yeah, personality, there's a, there's a precisely. Precisely. Marinated in something, couldn't tell you what. ASMR for you. Ugh. So sorry. I hate that. I hate, I'm so sorry. Actually, I regret that ever happening. Yeah, no, I, I'd like to take this time to apologize. I'll, I'll make a Twitter apology soon. Don't worry. Thanks. Quit longer or are you going to do it with the Google Docs? <sighs> I might just do a YouTube video. Okay, that's the way to go. Yeah, I'll try and get someone else's pet, cry, you know, do the full shebang. Do you want to know a fun fact? I know you've never sworn on air, Chad. That's your fun fact. Mine is I've never made a Twit longer. I, I definitely have sworn on air. Oh, I just I try I try really hard not to. Yeah, me too. Um, but uh, Wait, what was your fun fact? My fun fact is I've never made a twit longer. Oh, okay. Thanks. I don't know if when I retired I made a twit longer or not. Maybe I've only I done do. it once. I feel it's like they're redundant awesome. now with the whole threads thing, but I guess it's like long form, isn't it? Yeah. I, it just feels compact. It feels cleaner that way. You know what I mean? Look, if I ever had to write something up at that length, I'd go uh, with Google Keep, and then I would go into uh, probably Google Docs with a link so that things could be edited in the post, right. unlike the, the, the twit longers. So ah, too shame. You want to make sure that you can correct yourself if you do make a boo-boo. Ooh, and that's one. That. Bub bub. Bit of a bub bub. Bloody hell, Chad. <laughs> that's one straight out of my book. Why are you spending way too much time around me? Dupree. Oh, no. He he. Oh, boat. Should be not long for this world. His jiggles will be the death of him. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's magnificent. Wow. 2v4 already. Yeah, 2v4. Half of them only had USPs. Rush's flank. He could do enough to take a device down. Look at this. Yeah, double dink. He does get it. Oh. And now, a complexity winning around they had no right to take. It's been great fragging across the board. Blame started this. Magisk to end it. He is on the way Please. towards dinner. Look at that. That's great. <laughs> he's got a lot of space, and he's managed to make it all for himself. Now, the plant spot is important here. I have no idea he slipped into this position. Mm. Like, zero. Nilt. None. <laughs> oh. What? Okay. Kit check. Blame. One to remember, because there will probably be time on Kimagisk's side here, and he's opted for CT spawn. They're all coming together, though, so... Going around the world. Okay, this is curious. Yeah. I mean, the plant is accessible. There's no way they reel it the first time. Does he call that bluff entirely? Where is he? He's just calling the bluff. I love it. Now just chill. <gasps> first frag. No time really for this. Blame has to be on it. They do get it just in the nick of time. Five, three, five, five, six, oh, eight. If anyone wants a really pretentious phone pin code, you can use that one. Chad now, changing pin code. It's way too much for my brain. 608, that's very familiar. I just, that just clicked what that's from. It's like the last three digits of my phone number. It's like, well, that's not Ah. Oboe's frag was fantastic here. Man, just not far off this one. You can see Blame realizing he wanted to not be the sitting duck, the lemming. And opting for a fake at about probably seven or so seconds left on that. So 
really playing with fire. I like the fact that Dupree there has got the blinds in place. We saw a lot of glare monitor gamers here, Much so that's good to screen. see. Yep. Just quickly, before we get this one underway with too many frags here, I want to make a, a note that Rush has been influential in both of their low buy wins. Second round of the game, he had some uh, impact in it just here on that flank. Some good stuff from Rush. Having to deal with Ivy versus Stralis is no easy task. And it's just that default spread that was working so well for them earlier. Feels like with a minute 22, they're already posturing back. So they've left box holes. They're no longer above top of pop. And the execute we saw them do before was smoking off the pop dog position, locking in any CTs. Oh, this time around, device is searching. He's going to get a lot of this. Oh, he almost got the double from it. Config down very low. Now Dupree played in. The flash catches both. Dupree a little better off, but not by much. It was really quite close. Very messy. But who's in the middle? It's Config. Already tagged up by collateral damage. And the T's pull through. Config using that smoke to, to cower within. It's likely he gets pre-fired, and he did. Obo, multiple targets, and he's actually managed to find a little bit of a gap, threading through. Here's the reload. He's going to get Dupree unawares here. Obo oh. on for three, not quite. Poison clawing us back in. Let's see if he can show Lauren what he's got. Not today. Magisk neutralizes him, and that puts the sixth on the board. For this T side, Astralis definitely not going to be uh, disappointed with that one. You can see, in fact, I mean, Chad, look at how many times that bomb has been planted. It was planted in round two. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Astralis T side, even in not in victory, they've been getting that bomb down and keeping that stream of additional funds. Three of those rounds I listed did get diffused by complexity, but they've been getting into the sites and getting that bomb down, and that's part of the uh, the perks of this style of play. Yeah, getting that site control has been no dramas for them here, and now complexity after an eco win going into a gun round. are now back with a timeout to discuss their options. The game is not getting away from them. Five to six, it's not the end of the world, but you would like to see a little bit more pep in the step. 4.5 for poison. I think that means we will just be seeing a partial investment here. Blame with the Deagle, definitely insinuating that one right there as the leader of the team. We'll be going for the most potent of the squad. Poison not actually investing anything at all here. Not even a P250, not even a CZ75, but config will. These rounds, Chad. Not again, surely. <laughs> I, I don't think so with this buy, but I mean, these are the ones that have weirdly kind of turned skew if. Um, for now, a little bit of caution being shown. Uh, Dupree out on his own there, does go down. The rest of the gang tries to peer through, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of peppery damage coming in, but no one else falling foul just yet. Yeah, this should be resolved shortly. <laughs> Difficult shot to make with the CZ and puts it all onto Blame F's shoulders, albeit big. This is a mammoth task and should just be a question <clears throat> of when Astralis find their seventh. They will be taking no chances here and, and understandably so. They've got 60 seconds to comb the perimeter and ensure that they don't lose any additional funds unnecessarily. They know no weapons have been retrieved, probably a dig, probably something small. He does get ahead of that flashbang, but eventually they do manage to find him. I, I love that. I just want to talk about why that's so good. The fact that no one's overextending, they're not just hunting, they're understanding that if they give anything away to blame, that it's unlikely he wins the round, but there could be a kill, could be a bit of extra money. They're playing fundamental Counter-Strike and they're keeping it where it needs to be. And we've had that earlier. We had Heroic last week playing that way. They weren't chasing and hunting and giving away un any unnecessary deaths because Every bit of money matters in Counter-Strike, and you can see what that means for complexity. Two Famuses make that three. An AWP, M4 out in play as well. No Diffuse kits here. A bit of a pace change as Dupree wants to limp on out. He's greeted with a frag, and he's opened things up. That's uh, a classic Dupree maneuver. Rush has done well to stem the bleed. Obo will uh, be trying to contain one side. Poison's contained the other. This is great. Glaive walking out the smokes, though, and I find a great headshot. He's definitely individually been keeping himself warm. 11 to 5 as the 12th not far off. He's going to dunk him, isn't he? Oh, that's perfect. Molotov to isolate. Nade to finish off the job. Safely finds his second frag of this round. And a 2-1-2. Two -two. Manageable as well at that. Rush, known to be playing on Ivy, have had wonders of success from it as well. But now, time to go down. I just... His task for now, yeah, definitely knew Rush was around, but the time in which he just executed him, 
I don't think even Rush knew oh, he was dead. Left eye. And that's the end of that one. Left with no eyes, complexity blind as eighth is picked on up. That's three consecutive rounds as well. It's the most we've seen Astralis string together, and this is going to be a monumental finish if they can continue in any, with any of the remaining two. Let's see Glaives dunk into Magis just straight into the rush. Tight peak. Rush had an advantage there. Of course, not with a weapon, worth mentioning. Hit him in the head, just AK slightly better. All right, so Deagle's here and Complexity. Now the half is getting away from them. Before, yeah. when we were at five to six, it didn't feel like it was the end of the world, but this is looking like it could finish with a 10-5 in the favor of Astralis. And, well, as they go out into that default spread once again, they just want to work out what they're playing up against. And Dupree, he's going to find out very, very quickly. Drops the AK. Oh, Blame getting his fourth kill now. How much room has Config got up here too? Is he continuing? Looks like he is. Bubsky's kind of intermittently checking on it, whether or not it's actually a threat to be truly worried about. There we go, season up. There's the swing. Not gonna get it. Good attempt. You can see the idea there. But Bubsky, he can't go down now. That'll be a free AK if Config gets the headshot. Now we're starting to see danger signs again. Yeah, slight overextension, slight break of the mold. Double peaks. Ah, multiple targets. Device does well to find one. Didn't fall for that between the wicket syndrome. Oof, poison. The head's another. These deagles are potent, there's no doubt. And Glaive's going to put his thinking cap right back on. Starting to try and visualize where these CTs could have gone off to. Processing the calls that have been made already. Is he walking through his smoke? No, he'll use it as a temporary wall. A guy is to find nothing. Config makes sure of that. Again. How many of these rounds have gone that way? Three. So the force by the second round of the game, we had the USP where we had Rush flanking late through Team Main, getting the kill on device with a double dink of the USP. And now it's the Deagles and Blame F. You want to a credit with a lot here. I think Bubsky going forward to try and get that space. <sighs> Look, I understand why he wants to do it. But this wasn't the regrouping and picture perfect counter strike we were just discussing in the previous conflict with a nice angle. Can see the toes under the train before he picks that line. And Dupree's is looking anything but impressed today as we will be kicking off round number 15. AKs are plenty. All out for poison once more. And 8 7 half. Now we can start singing the praises of complexity and thinking this one's not so bad. Yeah, dude, Magisk is in a real tight spot. He's going to be forced to smoke himself out. And uh, not going to be seeing Config find that kill just yet. Rush with a different stance on Ivy. A bit aggressive with the deep smoke, but... I think he realizes that his life far too valuable to be taking too many risks. So they've been conditioning them for 15 rounds straight that the bomb doesn't come Ivy. It's been two players, never three. Let's see if this one's going to catch the CTs off guard, because it will just be... Dupree first opens up, attention drawn to main, and now they come on out, back turn, he gets the first. Bubsky trading, bomb not spotted, oh it is actually, that was Bubsky that held it, and now the full health device is gone, Poison's picked another. Nothing but Bubsky in this one. Certainly gonna sour the mood. Looks like Complexity have really, off the back of not one, but two, but three, half by or less rounds converted. Oboe's USP, well now you Oboe's AK is on the floor trying to fake the run back try and keep some cts not staring at the one place he had to be but unfortunately with 28 seconds it's mostly most likely a dead bubsky oh he's found a window now there is a chance for bubsky here they're double rotating the low hp is the problem it's very smart and i think at the very least oh okay nice angle held by blame I was expecting to see the round extended. 8-7 though. Complexity came to play and so did Astralis. Glaives at the top of the scoreboard on his debut. And we're bringing you all the more action when we come back.
count that in my winnings We take fifties and hundreds and throw them up to the ceiling Everything I envision, now everybody gon' witness Only difference between us is I ain't stop till I finish, yeah. I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right now I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right now I always wanted the world, I wanna conquer the world right now I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right Come now Come up for the last time To sing a song, it's a battle cry No life I see the clue between the strobe lights and honey From the break, if you're just joining us, you missed Glaive and his return. He is looking hot to trot and Astralis. They managed to keep it, well, extremely competitive on their map choice of train. We're getting a new look Astralis. We're getting a Complexity who got uh, blown out of the water over there in Cologne, but they seem to be bouncing back in a decent fashion here today. I've been loving it. I mean, they won a great deal of those kind of weird and wonderful rounds, Deagles, Scouts, what have you. We see utility here, Chad. Oh, we love some utility, Lauren, don't love a bit you? Of it. Uh, don't you mind that as Rush is going to put on out the Molotov deep towards Ivy position. Nate as well to follow. He's going to use the smoke and get on up. But the attacks through Ivy and Dupree, he's <laughs> waiting. Wow. How did they predict that so perfectly? Oh, wow. This is a systematic decimation of a pistol round. These guys barely took any damage. That double stack on Ivy. They seem prepared. They seem collected and calm on it. Now, device. You got a 1v5. God, some damage would be lovely. A bit of anything would have been lovely. But my word, complexity thoroughly prepared, looking absolutely poised and device. Now even surprised. Lucky to be alive, it feels, in this one. Being pressured down, 9 HP. Oh, he's chasing. Trying to backpedal. Rush really wants it. He's leaving Obo to take it. So Obo will finish things off. And that's going to be the first round of the second half on the board for complexity here. This is fantastic work. Obo and Poison really combining for something magical here. Yeah, I mean, look how fast those frags have happened in 95 seconds left on the clock. One ban left for Astralis. So that's perfect. Couldn't ask for a better start, really. Will be the force by coming in from Astralis here. Deagles. Yeah, not out. three scouts this time as Complexity just opted one. for. Just the one. Yeah, and a couple of nades. More Kevlar involved. Does nullify the three SMGs to an extent, but of course no head armor for the majority. Dupree, big spender. So Glaive is actually playing towards the inner site on the anti ah, yes. or on the force buy, mind you, or the anti go for complexity it would be. So this is going to be curious to keep track of. Normally it would be Zipax. 
one of the greatest to ever do it over towards that bomb site. And these are the things we will be keeping track of as we watch Australis fiddle around with their roster right in front of our eyes. Yeah. Now, Magisk knows there's at least one, and that's the second trying to bait him in. Poison firing off a shot. It's the only a Galil he's heard so far. Bubsky denying Pop Dog control with a smoke grenade, and they are still gathering, having somewhat of a meeting towards main. So, complexity pausing, anticipating CT aggression, and they'd be running out of time if they continue to do act that way. Stralis. Now aware that this looks like the hit, and the nade does look promising, so did Device past tense. Poison makes sure of him. Short work of Config 2 into the site is Poison, and they just massacre them. Look at that Oppo and Rush SMG. Just overwhelmed all at the same time with utility. I think, you know, that's that's a cool blame can be proud of. They really did reduce the potential for those Scouts and Deeks to do anything to deadly. I think it's uh, just to note, if you are a newer Counter-Strike fan, the Mac 10s getting the kills there is actually very, very good mm -hmm. uh, for the side of things of complexity. It helps get them a bit more money in that back pocket. Pikachu. Has a higher kill reward than that of the AK-47, and now it will be the Eco from Astralis here. So I, I want to fast forward this round and kind of get to the gun round. I know that I can't have right. my way. There's no... <laughs> you can't press skip. It's not like the VCR. I can't just hit it on 32 times speed and get us all the way up to uh, the next round. Got you. VCR for, for you... Uh, Little zoomers at home is is like something you'd speed watch up on, on Netflix. Netflix. Um, but we had like an actual machine, and we had to put like a tape in there, and sometimes it wouldn't work, and and sometimes your your favorite tape of The Lion King would get taped over, and it was the Channel Seven oh, Christmas pageant, no. and you don't really care about the Channel Seven Christmas pageant, but you you, you really do care about Mufasa Lion. and Simba and what they're up to, and and what you're watching. What are they doing these days, Chad? Well, the Christmas pageant, or well, we can't really ask old Simba, can we? Because he's, you know. A lion. That too. Oh, don't spoil the movie for everybody. What, that he's a lion? Yeah, well, <laughs> I thought they were going to do a, a modern day take on it and try and do Lion King with, with, with human beings. That'll be the next thing Disney do, I'm sure. Ooh, little crunch here. Little crunch there. Dupree doing well. Finding Blame F, but beyond that, it's been shot down. There is a little bit of danger, but this hasn't really spiraled into anything. Bear in mind, we saw this before with a couple of you know, teams, and even in this game, that those pistols can become deadly quite quickly, but those final three able to stabilize before anything got away. But the fun round coming in, it's going to be the gun round. Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen, on where this defense of Astralis will be set up. It's going to be very, very curious. One of the things which... Like I just previously mentioned, I want to know who's going to be holding the inner bomb site. Previously, we just saw Glaive there with a Deagle. He's going to be heading there now. So, interesting little mix up here. I suppose it makes sense if Bubsky's been drilled into. Oh, oh, he's got no options. Bernie, Bernie. That is perfect. I don't know if that was. That was. It was two CT mollies. They truly denied all off control with two very well calculated. Molotovs. Blame had no option there other than to drop his smoke. He couldn't get out in time. Smooth move. Robo on the cross and actually wins his duel as well. This is a colossal amount of space made by the babyface killer. Device. Flames locking him at bay. Config pushing up, denying as much space as he can, but through the flames. Device has the vision necessary. Obo still so low. He's going to have to try and lay his life on the line. Throwing bullets down range. Tags up Bubsky for something. And now looking very promising for the defuse. However, Poison yeah. Time is on his side and they do not have a kit. You're right. They're just in the nick of time for that defuse. Yeah, look, that round could have definitely gone the other way. Maybe Config when that smoke was missed towards the back of the low ramp train. It meant he couldn't hang around. Maybe he did get a little bit more aggressive and take that fight, but it felt like they had corralled them almost exactly where they wanted them to be. And this is the Molotovs to kick it off, so oh, it was just blimey. a classic team main Molotov to deny. And then the Olaf Molly, and that was the end of blame. So we're learning. We're all learning. We're all watching. We're all understanding, as that's a frustrating way to go out for blame, who's been having a, a rougher showing in this game than what we're used to from the in-game leader on the side of things for complexity. Normally leading the charge. It is Oboe on 18, 16 for Poison, 11 for Rush, 10 for Config, and 9 for the aforementioned blame. Effort out main. Rush is rushing. And the flash from Obo set him up for success. He does manage to at least take down the three, but that's the follow-up we were waiting for. Where's that second punch going to come from? 
Finally, a little bit of defense kicks in. It's between Magisk and Device, leaving just Config alive, and I'm sure there's something playing in his mind playing this. Even Astralis pick up Young Guns. He was that potential candidate one day, but Magus going to find him. And Astralis waking up, it feels, on the CT side. I don't know if it lasts that long or what the scenario unfolds as, but Complexity have been really putting them through their paces here. All right, so we'll have things tied up at 10-10. Uh, this round being posted on the board here from Australia. It's good stuff from Device there, getting himself up in the frag charts as well. And now as we look to see what kind of a buy complexity they're going to be throwing their way. Maybe even scarier. Look at all these nades. This is a classic nade train out main here. Dipping over towards the middle Three. of the bomb train. And that's going to hurt. Cash is it. That's going to hurt. That's going to leave a mark, but... Though it's not the, the casualty they were hoping to cause. Astralis losing out early. Shouldn't be that much more. Will the complexity seriously do this again? Seriously? After, what, three times on the CT side? Notice that device isn't interested in run boost and not interested in conceding anything here. There's one more with the bomb. Device, head on a swivel. Patience might be integral here because... Should Obo and Blame get Glaive to overcall on the inner site, there might be room for that bomb to navigate somewhere else. He's trapped at the moment. Glaive can hear it. Ooh. And Device has rotated off. It's worked. It's worked wonderfully. It's kind of similar to what Astralis were trying to do. He might be able to sneak a, a player out. Device is still babysitting the bomb train here. Don't think he'd even get the plan if he wanted to. Ooh, takes the plant, picks up the M4, and that's it for Poison. He's trying to do too much there, and, well, it was just the pistols and some nades. That's how they open things up onto Dupree, but Astralis will now post the 11th on the board, and this is the... How's 2020 so far? Yeah, that's rough, isn't it? Eey. This here is fantastic work from Device, even though it is only against the pistols. Still plucking one out of the air in that fashion, not the easiest to do. And... Uh, I think that was Blame going, why is he fake planning, picking up the M4 and then dying? But uh, it doesn't really matter because they're back out with the guns. There's no AWP in play for poison. Okay, device. Oh, last round, it was great. This round took just uh, too much damage through the molly and the combination of the fire coming in. And now something B's looking very vulnerable. Glaive the first to come over now, responsible for so much with four players breathing down your neck. Unaware so far, but soon to be. No one's that close for rotations either. This is going to be Glaive to have to really handle this well. Flash comes in, he's going to fall away, but they still stand, they still progress. The smoke to follow, the molly comes through. Config is the one to plant the flag, the complexity flag towards that B site. That's the save call. Yeah, and this is what we saw from complexity within the first half. So, team's more than happy to give up the clear rounds and this is one of them a 5v3 retake into the inner bomb site with very light utility well the likelihood is very very slim holding onto the guns and giving yourself another shot at a gun round in the following much better decision but as this game tapers on forward we will have to see Astralis going for retakes if they do lose site control. So that is uh, potentially the difference between Complexity being in the first half. They might feel like they have more opportunities to save, whereas Astralis being on the CT side on the second half, uh, it doesn't come as freely once the pressure starts to get applied from Complexity. True. We're tied up at uh, legs 11, so... It's not that danger stage of the game just yet. And the buy will be good enough. Device has 7.5k. The AWP will come on out. As you can see, Rush didn't make his bed today. And we're not talking about Rush Lee, one, two, three, four, five, six. I bet he didn't make his bed today either, did you, Rush? No, yeah, no, no. Now, I don't either. I'm now definitely not a, a, a pro, but I, I... I hope they made, in the hotel, they made my bed today. Yeah, the yeah. psychology... <laughs> the psychology of it, though, is that if the first thing you do is productive, it starts you off on the right foot. So it's like a two-second thing, and you actually complete a task before you've even left your bed. It's a good way to start the day, even though I know all of that. Don't do it. Try that at home, kids. <sighs> psychology. Step heard. Device still responsible for this pop area. You massacred them nicely with the uh, pistols, but 
different set of utility and weaponry this time. Same lining up is at the pop molly for the other side. They've just moved out, so this is actually quite lucky timing for the side of things from Astralis here. If they hung around, they might have been locked on into a fight they didn't want to be a part of. And they've taken main control instead. So on the other side of this will be Config, but he is holding very, very passively here. Bubsky has no reason to posture any more forward than this. Dupree and Toe to help lock down that pop push. They have a very potent setup here on Yard, and Glaive playing retake towards the inner bomb site. As we can see with 50 seconds left on the clock, the bomb is actually over towards the box holes, though, as they might want to go for an inner split, or they're just waiting for any aggression because this fight's possible all over the map. This could happen anywhere, potentially. Config and Bubsky waiting it out. You've got the Ivy presence kind of you know, building up. You see those mollies coming in, but we must remember exactly where the bomb is. 30 seconds, it's going to become prevalent. Config forced away. Can't play the game he wanted to. Obo now joining towards Blame F. The victory, it happened towards Ivy, but the war is yet to be won because here comes the bomb. The plan comes in. That whole ruse has at least allowed a plan. Okay, Obo, you've impressed us before. Can you do it again? Does to take the head off of that B defender. So first, perhaps of many. And just Bubsky are starting to do damage. It's Dupree to put the cherry on top, and that's an Astralis retake. I know very often on the CT sides we see plenty of those saves, but when the bomb does go down, sometimes they go for it. Certainly more favorable this time. A 4v2 turns into a 3v0. 12 for Astralis. I'm taking a quick look at the scores as well. If anyone's head and shoulders above the rest, this double kill from Magis was uh, putting him on the 20th. Yeah, got plenty of time left of regulation. That was practically a transfer there. Dupree, quick reactions. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. I'm sure it's doing wonders for the for the players to know that there is if there is uh, the possibility of saying, you know. I'm tired uh, during this long stint of online Counter-Strike. It probably is going to give them a new lease of life in one sense. Yeah, I, the problems would come if they don't get some victories on the board, but we haven't crossed that bridge just yet. So we need to see how this works for Astralis. It could be genius. We're going to post it that way because everything these guys seem to do is in fact the best thing since sliced bread in Counter-Strike. Yeah. yeah. Glaive's on an island here though, Alex. When is he not? <laughs> Device is on the way. Nate doesn't do too much. He's going to hope that he's going to have some options available to him. Device smoked off. Glaive disappearing as best he can. He's going to get threatened from all angles of approach. Config straight behind enemy lines, through the smoke, through the flames, gets a double. And he continues to stand his ground. It is enough for Dupree to find him. Blame up the pop. You're catching all of this. Nice work, Rush Lee. It's chaos. Looking for the equalizer. Majesk, he wants to try and tip the scales in the Dane's favor, and he does find the AWPA. They got a smoke, they got a kit. And with their powers combined, this could be a threat. Clearing the speedway. Obo, he's winning every single one of these duels in oh. these crucial moments. Up the ramp safely. Smoke on the bomb. Kit on Magisk, but running out of options. Obo's just giving him nothing. And he's going to try and back oh. out. Obo gets the timing. That's not the first time I've seen Obo in an unfavorable position winning his aim duel. He did a charging up oil as well. Two rounds in a row, complexity. Really going to be happy with that one. So 24 is theirs, and this is how they got there. Good play from Config here. You could see Device and Glaive had literally no idea what was going on. Just peeking on out, taking Vegas down. Now, that was a big round, but this one right here is going to be even bigger. The reason I say that is money starting to dwindle now on the Astralis side of things. This will be the last ditch attempt with the buy. And if they're unable to convert right now, that'll be 13 on the board for complexity. And 14 would be looking very, very nice because the loss bonus on the side of things for Astralis is only at 1,900 if they lose this round. What that means, as you can see, everybody bottoming out with their cash. Device, 50. Bubsky, 100. Megix, 0. Dupree, 150. Glaive yet to buy. But assumably will be spending all of his money. So that means next round they'll only get whatever the residual is plus 1,900. On the CT side, everything costs a little bit more. You need the diffuse kits. You need the utility. This round is hugely important for both sides here. Complexity if they want to get one step closer to taking map number one, and Astralis if they want to keep their head above water. Oh, device. Dangerous line to take, but so far, it's been a bit of a bloody battle. Config, middle of no man's land, still pushing forward. Bomb on the back. He's a man possessed, and he's got his buddies backing him up. That's a plan. 
Yeah, this is looking great from complexity. T sides, well orchestrated. No slouch at all. Glaive called off after his uh, opening gambit. I feel like I said he had 13 to four at one point. Let's not take that as gospel, but there's another death added to the plate. Poison throws Magisk into the ring. And poor old Device just going to look to try and maintain his AWP. Poison may not let that happen. I don't know if he got the info. As he danced around the ladder. Config going down. That's some concrete info right there. So that's complexity taking 13. No one complaining in the international roster. Now, letting him hold on to this AWP, I understand why they've done it. Their money's not great on the complexity side of things either. A device is a very, very pointy weapon and the only weapon on the Astralis side of things. So it's most likely now with the percentage counter-strike that they play and the $2,400 loss bonus coming in the next round that they will just take a save and hopefully device can find them a kill. That is their best way into this round. Ooh, okay. Can we do a device X-ray off POV just until he dies or he Ooh, gets a kill? I'm in. All right. He's been told be the hero. Let's see how he handles the complexity calls. He's going to be seeing a lot of early utility, utility flying out towards this yard. So he's going to have a lot of denial. It makes sense, right? You've got one AWP left. You know it's saved. They are heading in his direction. He has a flash. He has a step. Gets the first. And now he knows there's more where that came from. Looks like he's got Obo taking down Magisk's push through the brown halls. He's going to try and perhaps fill that gap, but... More exiting now out of Ivy. So he's got a lot of space to cover. This is a prime position to cover both sides of the site. Very predictable, unfortunately, for Device. Yeah, his opportunities to make an impact are starting to be taken from him. Now it's about saving, but when there's a minute left on the clock and the bomb's getting planted now, so change that time at a 40, he's going to be hunted. They're going to come for him. See if he can survive, eh? There we go. First hunter dead. The wanted posters around train, though, still looking... Real handsome for Device. Now the second challenger. Who's that going to be? Do blame F potentially? Thanks, Rush. Oh. Look how pin they have him though, right? As the timer now trickles on down, they can tighten this noose. They can move in step after step, waiting for Blame to get closer. Poison's now posted up on high ramp. Blame can put pressure in coming from the box halls. Up low ramp, we can see Rush. Oh, the timing. Oh. He knows it's going to be horrible. Still with Poison. Goodbye, Device. Nicely played in the end by the T's. Oh boy, Complexity really have brought a T side to play today. Four rounds is all that Astralis have been able to post so far. And a grand total of, what's four plus three? Five, six, seven rounds. There we go. <laughs> this now, bomb sounds so funny. Whee! Why this is important as well is that Device cannot afford an AWP going into this round. He cannot be dropped an AWP. He'll just have to go with the rifle. So it's a five rifle setup. Only one Molotov in play, no kits, and we're into it. Yeah, and look how fast Rush is out. He's got two completely flashed opponents in front of him. Bobski does both. Flame F. Oh. Now another. Bobski's come alive. Magisk finds another. Astralis wiped asleep from their eyes here in round 27. It's all poison. He's wondering where his teammates have gone. Just completely and totally removed from the state of play. They would have seen the trajectory of that Molotov, I think. They might have an idea that he's stuck in close. So here comes a flash. And there goes Poison. Missing his shot. Device connects and gets his first, but Bubsky's 3K was how well that round was won. I don't want to be too critical here of the side of things for complexity, but doing a fast round when you have all the bells and whistles and you know that they don't, it's an interesting play because you just played heads-up Counter-Strike against guys who didn't have any nades to throw. So you've almost given them exactly what they needed. The fact that Bubsky converts three, look, we're not going to account for that one every day of the week. That's a fantastic play from him. Uh, they could have whittled it down a bit more and actually played the percentages right here. So complexity, back out they go. Blame, tucking himself into Olaf. He's been mollied out of position before. This time he's ahead of it. He's quick Smoke to this. gives him a hidey hole. So this is really potent now already because the amount of audio cues and steps and sounds and all that good stuff that's been to spotted device and tags one glaive sprays down conflict and low finishes off the job two more where that came from the flashes he's running out of ammo and he will go down oh it's the same that's a big frag from rush perhaps there's a way back in a two versus four becomes a two versus three with a bomb down maybe just maybe complexity could find their 15th here three flashes one smoke ct style still has a lot to do but that's a perfect step now poison how do you play this out 
Round oil train. Avoids Magus. Okay, got one. Now position noted. Smoke's still on the bomb, keep in mind. And he's heard someone on it. Bubski now on the defuse, and that's going to be due pre watch of the cross. Takes down the man, watch of the cross. He couldn't get back to the defuser in time. Oh. Who is this man? But the round does nonetheless go the way of Astralis. But look what that's done to the money. So now there's three players on the side of things. Four Astralis having to scrap a buy together. You can see the UMP thrown across. So they've got the M4s up. It's going to be light utility. It's like, here, device, take the AWP. We need you to get some kills with this. Please. Because now it's going to be 14 14. Complexity on the other side of things by getting the bomb down once again and Poison being able to hold on to this 8K47 Bruh. with that lovely shot there through the tail end. Is Jason Lake awake? Is he with us? No late cam up right now. Oh, thereby is a bit of a mess too. We are in the stickiest situation for both sides right here. Ooh, bowl down to 60. Key three, swallow their pride. Magisk forces led down the throat of poison. Rush perhaps next up to the plate. The Mollies could get a bit hot for Dupree. Strafes out, smoke to extinguish. A changing of the guard. Ooh. Okay. CT side looking for that information they can post up. That's pretty nice. I feel like complexity. Normally quite pacey. Today we're learning the connector smoke with the config. Nice and easy peasy. 45 seconds on the clock. He's waiting for the queue. What, what time do you reckon is? 40? And then Molly stops? I mean, Make Rush kind of needs info here, but he's got nothing to set him up for it. I mean, this will be a dry duel. Will he be ready for the next? He's so low. Should be the off angle from Bubsky oh. transfers. Config down, looks like 15. They've only got 20 seconds. They don't have a backup plan here. There is nothing other than frag. Go frag, Obo. 18 seconds. Dire straights. He's ready for everything. But that's the end of Obo and Blame. Too disconnected from the bomb. He'll go down to a no scope, no less device. Still polished. Still shiny. 15 now. And, and I do find it crazy though, in, in a world where Astralis, of course, do have the interchangeable players that so they can still compete even this early on in the look of it. Now, I don't know how long they've been working behind the scenes, but obviously, you know, Glaive's relatively new to come back to it. So it's it's really fun as a prospect. I'm sure if we get an interview, we can get more out of it. Blame's face there is, is indicative of his reality. He knows that this is the best they can present for the final round of play. The money management of Astralis is, is be gonna best them here in regulation. And that's not to say it's out of the realms of possibility. We've seen multiple quasi-buy rounds from Complexity do get translated, but it's usually off the back of a boy called Obo. He's got the Galil. Certainly does have the best bet again. It's never fun when that's the, the best weapon you're presenting into a final round of regulation. But a bitter pill, one they must swallow reluctantly. Obsky not making any secret of his advance towards the pop dog position and Poison is given the first fight. It's a tag exchange. Nobody's particularly worse for wear. He's still have a great deal of util left as well. They've managed to make it to the minute marker. You've got all your smokes, flashes, considering the buy that they had to come in with prioritizing that substantially, of course, as Oboe, your main instigator of pain here. But bear in mind, there is two players here posted up deep. They know there might be a threat of pistols. They know there might be a danger of people trying to get close. And Magus already finding Rush is going to make this a little easier. Oh, the timing falls away. Turns a flash, comes back around. I'm glad you've actually fallen away from this. Oh, spotted Obo emerging the smoke, and he's actually going to dart away. Bomb down. Smoke on config. They are going to go for a full five-man retake with only three flashbangs. Bub's key. Element of surprise for him here. And not caught off by blame. Did take a deagle bullet in the process. Oh, oh, Poison's just found two with the scouting. Very quick succession through one another, even. Device and Glaive, is it really overtime with only pistols? They're running out of options, they're running out of time. Config found, Poison's got another one with the scout. I think they have. What a perfect round. No time, no hope. Poison just pops off with the scout, no less. MR3, 16K, coming up after the break.
Many considered Group B to be the death group, and already we're seeing in the opening game for Astralis and Complexity exactly what that's about. First map, Astralis is picked 15 15 and pulled across the line with peanuts and pocket lint, thanks to Poison and his scout. And so we head over into quite a different territory. It's MR3 16K. Economy, less of an issue. Chad can have a snack. Myself and Lauren can guide you through how the first round does transpire. Already we're going to be seeing some early aggressions out of Config, and this is how they like to do it, catching them while they're doing the dance. Config, that's ambitious. Brings Device down to just 10 already. Look how much space he has taken from the CTs. You couldn't ask for anything better. That little bit of a tag towards Ivy is perfect, and Convict continues. Still looking for more. Magiso says no. It's a quick response and a bit of a shutdown. Pace now dwindling. The T's lose numbers. But Poison last time took them here, and he might just keep them in this round still. A 1v2 bomb well out of reach. And they've fallen back to backtracks. Bomb. Okay. Now... Poison might just go for a pause here, and if Astralis were to play standard, he can then operate under the assumption that there would be a 1 CT on each site. However, as he looks to relocate and reposition, the options he's faced with is Inner or Ivy. Ops for the latter. And he'll have to be careful as to when he hits that walk key, otherwise Magus is going to be given all that information for free. Gratuit. En français. Tough duel to win here for Poison. Hasn't been spotted out by Magus Jiggle yet. Could be timed here. <sighs> okay. <sighs> 19. If he plans to connect a side, that would be inspired. Glaive should find him, though. If he gets him, will he have time to plan? He could. You'd hear him. Oh, and that was his best shot. Oh. What do you do now? He's going to get shot in the booty. Yeah, that's a shame. 31, though, and Magis gets all the credit because that looked fantastic. That was everything Cole had counted on in order to make that round winner happen. Config's out. He's not dead. He's got the first kill. He's pressured the AWP off Ivy. It looked fantastic until this man started filling the feed. And let's see it from his POV now. Oh, that angle. Config on the bomb train. Wasn't ready for that. Oboe panicking and paranoid about Pop. And that's the end of that. So first round goes Astralis' way in this overtime. Okay, right back into it. And a couple of interviews I've been trying to read into of Astralis talking about this roster change. Depending on opponent, they theorize they might do the roster switches, all Zonic says. But back to that, because Rush is living up to the name. Straight out into the fire and the flames. Bobski, well and truly up for the task, though. Getting two there and even Dupree's nade finding blame. So T-side looking a little worse for wear. This is... This has been a bit brutal, really. Yeah, good grief. Not sure if Poison's the man you want last alive in the clutch situations. He'll go down yet again, having the AWPer trying to clutch. It's uh, never an easy task unless the kills get delivered your way. But leading the charge, 28 to the name. We were saying in the pre-show that if there was a map he was going to step up on, train definitely specialty for some AWPers out there. Here's Bubsky up close and personal. Now that the money is looking a little bit better, the org can come out to play. And what was a tightly contested affair is now running away from complexity. And if they're unable to convert a single T side round, Astralis with that default spread, eventually they'll crack through in one of the three that they might have to work with. But let's see if they can get there first. Arc is set. That's what they want. That one on the board. I guess this time, focus towards Ivy. It's the little peak that we've been seeing them trying to opt for. More and more teams are doing that. More and more corners. And this time, Obo will be forced to watch the final round of this overtime's first half. He's loud. No, you're not quite going to connect. Certainly not noteworthy damage given their AK-47s in their hands. This could have an impact, though. Two players leaning into the pop dog position, and now Molotov, they'll just be forced to evacuate. There was no one to punish from main. That was what could have occurred instead. 
They'll be able to regain full control. Smoke on top of it. And now, with 38 seconds left, they're smoked out of main. Oh, this looks... This looks like dire straits. Already at a man disadvantage. Device just cycling through his nades. Maybe that frag from Blame F could incite some confidence. But they're coming out main now with 20 seconds to go. Oh, this feels horrible. I hate all of it. That's going to alleviate some of the pressure, I oh, guess. Okay, what? this helps. How is this happening? And now the two at the back, Glaive and Device. Okay, stop oh, the plant. Him. Nine seconds, they scoop it up. Device, he can't knock off that plan. They have repositioned to a safe angle, but he will give it his best shot. Seems he opts for the Deagle here. Closing that close line, config close to the site. Ebox a possibility, and the elevation works. Good turnaround. My God, with 20 seconds left, that was dire. But Magis just gets a little timed. All of that attention from May. It was a great timing on the uh, flank from Ivy. That was Poison's frag and contribution as well, and this was how it all ended. So two to one in Astralis' favor from the second series of today. First overtime, first half. Heading now into Complexity's defense. Astralis, they had a very solid T side. Was it nine in the end or eight? Uh, eight, seven, I eight. believe. Okay, a bit it was. Of a double orbs coming out here for Complexity. That's a change up on their CT side. Now remember, they found a lot of success on their low buy rounds. They don't have that luxury in overtime. This is a very ag aggy angle from the double orb. Ooh, this could be an embarrassing way to go down. There he is, plucked from the air. It's information, but they know there's another one there. They don't care, they'll back up. Strangely large amount of information revealed on both sides. Considering the amount they probably saw, it's probably gonna encourage his B hit, but Oboe's been Sublime at the hold so far, but it is going to be Bubsky who eventually works his way through. The more he goes deep, it gets extinguished, but now you've got Config on the lurk. Dupree checks it, still dies. Nice work from Config, getting right in between them. Yeah, this is magnificent. Nothing they can do. Complexity are going to level things out here. Not a team you can write out of many rounds. This one was a quick one. Trying to walk contact and Oboe playing well ahead of his years, Chad. I mean, the, you, I've seen great players struggle to hold in against Astralis, and Oboe's dropping 30 and no sweat on his brow. He's been doing a fantastic job, and I think that boot camp they had earlier in the year here, where they were, let's say, marooned in Europe, he probably had to do a lot of maturing being away from home as a youngster, Gosh, yeah. not only in and like inside the server and outside of the server, right? These are circumstances that nobody was expected to come in with 2020. And he had his big brother Rush there to help him through the major champion with Cloud9 back there in 2018. Done a good job destabilizing the default. And what that has forced is Astralis to no longer go for this spread. Over towards Ivy, they might go for an information play in a moment. Dupree. Okay, he's going to trade out one for one and it will be straight towards inner. So Oboe, we need some more of what we've seen. The timing's everything. Device, I thought his timing could have been... If it was a second earlier, it could have been different, but he does get the frag on the first. Bobski now teed up for the second. Pushes forward, dies, but he buys oh. time. The shots, Flame F, taking personal charge of the final moments of that round. Wow. Whoa, how? Complexity. This is map point. They'll have all the cash to splash. Dupree making sure the AWP is in the right hands. Double AWP for the CT side. Three in play in total. We'll see that again from Blame for POV because this second shot, he's taken that with conviction. Realizes he's not going to be able to track the moving target and finishes it off anyway. Really good shooting from the in-game leader. Tactical timeout prior to what will be either Complexity taking Astralis' map pick. Or will this be another overtime? Bubski. Of course, Device has got the uh, HD 4K 60 FPS webcam. Oh, he's doing expect, the content. I right? expect nothing less. <laughs> keeping it clear, keeping it clean. I'm just curious as to what the call can be coming out on the side of things from Astralis here because the default, the, what I was meaning with being unraveled and disrupted is the two aggressive players over towards Ivy in Rush and Blame. So they're making sure that they take that map control away from Astralis. And if you unravel a kill there, even if you trade one for one, uh, the pressure that they can apply on that side of things completely goes out the window. So back in we go. Astralis looking like they are going with more of the same. Pre-main over towards Ivy, two players. AWP with device. Winning this duel could be absolutely everything, but once again, the CT side doing the same setup. Same result. Double for Rush on that AWP. That's phenomenal. 
Again, Astral is forced into dire circumstance very early into the piece. If they can't rock Config's world on the way out here, I'd be concerned for... Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, it's timing here. As the smoke fades, Config looking for the one, gets quickly traded. Flash does catch Glaive off, but he'll throw out one of his own and he gets the sitter. Rush down, forced a clutch on his debut. Poison says no, Complexity will take Train, Astralis' map pick, and it concludes the juggernaut.